I just recently picked up the Air Jordan 13 Oregon Ducks football PEs and I am excited to give you guys a review because I know the shoe looks a little simple and a little bit loud but trust me there's a lot of cool details and man I'm glad to have these back in my collection oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey! so let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can give you guys an in-depth review of this shoe so here we have it the Air Jordan 13 Oregon Ducks football PE the shoe that I had, I wore, got rid of, but I had to get them back. As you guys know, I'm from Oregon and I love my Oregon Ducks PEs. Now this one in particular, it hit me a little bit differently because the colorway, it's not the same as what we typically get. You have these neon bright crazy colors. I was used to Oregon Ducks PEs being darker, more deeper greens, like kind of like this right here, but a little bit more vibrant, you know, like similar to the Ducks jerseys. We have seen Ducks jerseys with these kind of darker green colors, but these neons was like really kind of throwing me off. We hadn't really seen this before during that time. So in that time, I got the shoes when the players first got them and I was happy, I was rocking them, I was great, you know, but it just for some reason, they was kind of rubbing me the wrong way when it came to the colors. And then I got rid of them some years go by and I'm like, bruh, I need these back in my life. Like this is a clean shoe. It's not my favorite 13 of all time, but I came up on these on a good deal. I got these from Soul Steels. Shout out to my homies over there at Soul Steels. If you guys haven't heard of them, click on the link down below. I talk about them all the time. It's a membership, a monthly subscription. They give you deals on sneakers. You have, there's a bunch of different stuff on the inside. They do raffles, they do a bunch of different things. So. Check them out. I've gotten a bunch of crazy deals from them. And this one right here, they popped up. I was like, you know what? I gotta pull the trigger. I gotta grab these. So before we start breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of this shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. Back at the end of 2017, going into 2018, we saw the Air Jordan 13 made in three different versions for the Oregon players, the student athletes, and the teams that they had. So not only did they make these for like the football team, and they typically will give some to other players on different teams with different stuff, they decided to designate different colorways for different sports. So they gave these to the football team. That's why you'll see the details later. It says football right here on the toe of the shoe. Then they have a version for the basketball team, which is the gray and white version. And then you have the track and field team, which is a black and yellow version. So there was actually three different versions of these that were made around that same time. Now it's a little bit harder for me to get my hands on the other ones, which those are more money, but don't worry, I'll be grabbing those soon. So this shoe in particular was made for the football team. Typically you got about 100, 150 guys on the squad. And then you got staff, coaches, different things like that. So roughly on a football PE, you're gonna see, you know, maybe around 300 pairs, 250 pairs that were made on the shoe like this. Typically when you have a sneaker that's this rare, you know, under 500 pairs ever made, that means what? The prices are always gonna be expensive. That's just kind of how it goes, especially when it's a Jordan PE mixed with the Oregon Ducks. No matter what colorway it is, it's still gonna go for way more than your typical retail value on a typical Air Jordan 13, even if the colorway is better than these right here. It's just kind of how things go these days. So now that you guys know a little bit about the sneaker, the history and how it kind of came about, this is something that Tinker designed and made a special colorway for and gifted to the team. Now, let's break down the details because honestly, I know it kind of looks like a simple shoe, but there's a lot of cool details and materials on this sneaker. Now looking at the outsole, you got your classic Air Jordan 13 outsole, but this time you got a different twist. Typically you see that jump man right here on the little iridescent area. This is actually a puddles duck right here. And it's actually kind of dope because it's a black duck. And during this time, we hadn't seen too many Oregon PEs with a black duck on it. Now I know this is on the bottom of the outsole and the Jordan 8 was the first one featured with the duck on the chenille patch on the tongue. This is definitely a huge statement for the progression of the Oregon duck PEs. Now to complement those details, you have that neon green all throughout the outsole and then you have the black pods in the center of that. And it's just giving me Altitude 13 vibes. And if anybody has the Altitude 13s in their collection and it wants to see them retro, please raise your hand in the comments section because I would love for the Altitude 13s retro. That is a sleeper shoe. Am I tripping or what? Because I love those. Now going up to the midsole, again, classic materials right here for the 13. You got the suede on the upper part and then you have your black pods and they look like a black pod, but honestly, I feel like it's more of a really, really deep, dark green color. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of people say black, but even honestly on the black areas, like I was talking about on the pods on the bottom, those are actually a really, really dark green as well. Maybe I'm tripping, but 
Let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Now going to the upper right here, you have a couple different mixtures of materials. You got two different types of tumbled leather, a little bit more of a smoother one right here around the toe on the cap, and then on the back end, a lot thicker of a tumbled leather right here. And then you have a suede all throughout the upper with the green area on both sides of the panels of the shoe. And then going to the tongue, tumbled leather matching kind of that back end with that type of leather. And then you have a green suede tongue with a big organ O embroidered right here on the center of that. Now going to the back end of the heel right here, another dope detail. Again, we see the Jordan hologram right there and it's got like the Jordan Jumpman with the 23 in it. Now right here, it's not really a hologram, it's more of an image, but you got the duck right here in the image of the heel of the foot as well. And I think that's a really dope touch and detail to the sneaker as well. And like I was talking about earlier in the video, you have a football branding right here. It's a white tab on the toe and then it says football in the neon kind of yellowish green. And then behind that, if you flip it over, you can see the Jordan 13 branding and the Roman numerals. Now these come standard with a pair of more of an emerald type green laces. And it honestly doesn't really match that well with the upper just because there's nothing else kind of really with that color. I mean, you maybe you could say the puddles is kind of that color, but to me, I feel like it might've hit a little bit better if they put some white laces in there or some neon laces or some darker green laces that kind of match the suede on there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And speaking of that, I'm also interested to see, is this shoe even a cop for you? Do you like this shoe? Or even if it's not a cop, do you like it and respect it? Sometimes there's shoes out there in the world that it's like, that's a dope shoe. That's a nice shoe. I like them. I respect them. But it's just not for me. I wouldn't spend my money. I understand those scenarios as well. So where does this shoe kind of fall in that category for you guys? Obviously for me, I fell back in love with it. I wanted to get them. I got them for a good deal. It made sense. I had to add these back to the collection. So for me, if I were to vote fire or trash, you know I'd say fire. Now on my Instagram story, I always post a poll asking people the same question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. But I asked them a simple question and this is what they said. 70% of the people chose fire and 30% of the people chose trash. So do you think those results are a good representation of this sneaker? Let me know down below in the comment section and where would you rank these amongst other Jordan PEs or even general release sneakers? Would it be a sellout sneaker? Would it be sitting on shelves? Would it go to outlets? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And if you guys wanna see any other PEs or special edition friends and family sneakers, you know I love going over them and showing you guys all the detail shots here on the channel. I made a full playlist dedicated to that, which I'll have linked down below in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out after this video, because trust me, there's a lot of bangers on there. And I got some new pickups that you guys might just be interested in seeing too. So subscribe. I'll see you later. I'm out. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. Me, and I'll see you guys over there. Send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I one would one never one. let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. <laughs>